Hey fishing friend, my name is JC with the Rad Milling Fishing. In this video, I got to participate in releasing some juvenile redfish, a bunch of them. Yeah, I received an invitation from Salt Strong, who's been working with Moat Marine Laboratories to make this event happen. So let's get on with this awesome adventure. Uh, hey Ryan, what, what are we releasing today? Today we are releasing red drum that we've been growing in partnership with Salt Strong. We're going down to Tippecanoe Environmental Park. All right. We've had a partnership with them for about five years. We've been releasing snook there for a while and now it's the first time we get to put some red drum back nice awesome you guys heard it from the pro the expert so we might we might strike tippy canoe though we don't want everybody to know where they're at do we eventually yeah the whole goal is to get <laughs> anglers involved and out there and get some red drum yeah catch. that's we're, what i said we're spreading red drum throughout southwest florida nice. so you can go anywhere and fish and have a awesome. chance of catching a beautiful hatchery red drum sounds yeah. good man Boy, cool. Hey guys, Salt Strong invited me to come out. This is Cameron, one of their representatives. Just volunteering guys are going to be releasing some redfish today that Salt Strong has been a part of uh, helping raise, right? Yes, sir. Basically, to celebrate hitting 30,000 insider members last year, we decided to fund this project to put 30,000 redfish back in the water for each insider member we had. So, wow. Yeah, here we are today, and wow. it's finally time to put them in the water. Wow. And it all started with a, a vision and a dream, guys. So, all right, well, I'm going to, we're just going to do this today. That's what we're doing. So, <laughs> thanks, man. So, all that black is just all juvenile redfish. Wow. Uh, yesterday, we went to a site, we had to put out 3,500 fish. It was a much bigger system, it can handle that many more. We're comfortable with about 2,000 fish going into this particular site. I swear. They were, they were only, because this is about the size we like to tag them. And it was just over a month ago, because uh, the pit tag, you know, it's, it's 23 millimeters long. You can kind of see it in there. So it takes a slightly larger fish to be able to hold it in its belly cavity. Um, and then we have to hold the fish for a solid month just to make sure any anesthesia is worn off so that there's no concerns or problems with fish going out after release. If somebody were to harvest it illegally and eat it, there's, there's no risk of any complications there. Uh, one of the FDA rules that we, that we have to follow. Then we do the health check to make sure everything is clean and healthy and looks good for release, and then they go out. But that means that from the time they were just about right to put this tag in till now, They've added probably a, a solid two, if not three inches, many of them. We're going to take them out of the tank. We're going to take them out of the tanks, put them in a bucket, and um, measure them and collect the data. So I get to measure. You got to grab the fish. They scan it for the tag. And give it to him like this. If you get it aligned and you get like your hand over his eye yep. lightly, and he will uh -huh. shake that. All right. 240 millimeters in the bucket. Keep the hands wet. Six. Okay. Last six. Okay. Two, 255. Okay. Uh, and then you put it Two, 245. 200. 200. Yes. We're taking a bucket out here to the main one. These are the uh, pit, pit, tag. pit tag. Yeah. Awesome. They have several different tags that they use on these fish, so they keep them separated into different tanks. So these guys, these guys are getting the rest of the red fish that we're taking. This one's ready. This one's ready. Okay. And I need a replacement. There you go. Okay. Bucket full of red fish. All right, twenty at a time. Nice. We're releasing them in tidal creeks. They're nursery habitats, the place where you don't have large fish predators. They need time to overcome stress. And a lot of stressed fish, they head to the tidal creeks. We see it all the time with snook, mullet. So hopefully they'll stay in those tidal creeks in that high quality nursery habitat, long enough to overcome the stress of the release handling. Hopefully we'll get enough data to be able to accurately assess survival and then when they leave, they'll be well prepared, they know how to avoid predators, and they'll contribute to the fishing population and hopefully to the spawning stock later on. All right guys, now we got the, the main FWC tank here. We're just getting them in the portable tanks so we can take them down to the release area. So that's just your monitor for the water, right? Yes. O oxygen and yeah. salinity and all that good stuff. pH. Uh, all that good stuff. Yeah, this throughout this whole process they've been monitoring the water. Cameron, how many redfish are we releasing? 
Do you know? A couple thousand? Yeah, I know yesterday we did 3,500. Oh I think it's my a gosh. smaller one today. Wow. One Lowe's bucket at a time. Nice. All right, here we go, guys. I got me a got me a bucket full of redfish. I'm not getting oh, in the water. Here. <laughs> I heard him guys say it's bullfrog. There you go. Thank you, Jason. Yes, sir. It's the pass off. Yes, sir. Nice. We'll take it. Thanks. It would be nice if it had a little cooler. Well, last night it was 82. This was just oh. the way all the time. Okay, fishing friends, I'm so grateful to Salt Strong for inviting me to come out and participate in releasing these redfish. Had a great time meeting and interacting with the Moat Marine Laboratory staff. Now, Salt Strong wants you to know you can have a 28 day free trial membership insider club. Click the link in the description area. You're going to get access to all kinds of videos, guys. I've been in this membership area. It is loaded with all kinds of good stuff. You're going to have access to smart fishing spots. You'll get discounts on all different kinds of tackle and gear. And also, you're going to be able to interact with Salt Strong coaches. So, click that link in the description area. Become a member, guys, because the 30,000 members prior to releasing these redfish are the 30,000 members that had made it possible for them to uh, work with Moat Marine Laboratories in raising and releasing these 30,000 redfish in our area. So good things are happening there. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up for appreciating everybody. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.